Hey guys, what's up? Setsuna Cosplay here, and I want to kind of show off one of the coolest planners I have seen in preparation for my trip to Japan, and I'm very thankful for a lot of other vloggers who constantly talked about this website, and that website is going to be Odigo. So it's very easy, you go to odigo.jp, I'm already there, but... So this is what the website looks like, and you've got your destinations, your planner, any bookings you may need, community, you can reach out to others, um, there's rankings, rewards, articles, and then um, events for all the events that are going on in different cities. So we'll go to my trips. And of course there is a photo of me in cosplay because it's me. And let's go ahead and click on 17 day trip and I'll kind of go through this with you guys and show you what I'm planning on doing. So I'm going with my friend Kat and she lived there for about five years. Um, me being the over planner that I am, I was trying to, you know, find the perfect Airbnbs, the perfect hotels, whatever. And she's like, dude, chill. Seriously, you don't really need um, to plan for accommodations that far in advance because there's always the business hotels, there's always Airbnbs available, so, but unfortunately the website kind of forced me to choose a few Airbnbs, so I didn't. Okay, so day one. We fly into Narita Airport. Um, it's great, all of these, or this website provides times and everything, but I won't know times until closer to my trip, which is just a, a year and a few days away. So yes, I am planning now. So once we get into Tokyo, I basically just kind of want to get checked into our accommodations, maybe walk around for a little bit, maybe go to the 7-Eleven or Lawson's, maybe even get a bowl of ramen, you know, something, and then kind of just relax because this will be my first international flight. Um, and I'm not really a big fan of flying. So yeah, we're going to do that. So day two. Awesome. I want to visit the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building because thanks to people like Random Me, shout out Random Me, um, it is a free building um, that offers amazing views and I'd love to do that. Um, and just so you know, um, we're, we're not really staying in Tokyo for very long because um, we're gonna take, well I'll get to that later, but so first day, Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, awesome. And look at this, it even tells you, okay, so from that Airbnb to there, how far, how much it will cost, which I won't have to worry about because we're getting the JR pass. It tells you what streets you need to take, times, it's amazing. So, which of course those times will change. And from there, of course, I have to do Shibuya Crossing, I, it's just a given, and Hachiko which I know is at Shibuya Station, but I wanted to add it as a point. As you can see, you can add points. Um, and then on that same day, I absolutely have to try Ichiran Ramen in Shibuya. If I hear one more thing about how amazing this Donkotsu Ramen is, it's just gonna kill me. So I want some really, really bad. And then we'll go back to our accommodations or walk around or do whatever, because day three, we're taking the Shinkansen to Kyoto. Yes, I'm super excited for Kyoto. Um, and the first thing I wanna do obviously is check into some accommodations. And then I wanna spend the rest of the day at the Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine. Um, thousands of red Tori gates and I want to hike up to the very top if possible and back down so that will be an all-day event so that's the only thing I scheduled um, in Kyoto for the first day then we you know whatever maybe we'll enjoy some nightlife if we're not too tired and then go back to our place of stay all right and then the second day in Kyoto Gion 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 <sighs> of course I have to go to Gion 
Now, there is a really cool studio in Gion called Aya Studio, and they offer full Michael makeovers. So let me see if I can show you. You'll have to forgive my internet. My house is not happy with my internet connection. I'm actually on my mobile hotspot in my own home. So if we go to studio. Aya, Gion, whoops, Gion. Kyoto, Michael, and Geisha makeover. All right, website. Okay, so this is really cool. Um, they do cater to foreigners. Let me go ahead and change that to English. So basically, they will do your makeup, they will do your hair, they will put you in kimono, and they will tie obis. It's just awesome. So it's a little expensive depending on what course you want to do. So a regular studio course, uh, makeup and dress up as Michael Geisha, you get four studio shots, four large size portraits with original picture cover, and 10 minutes of free time. That comes to about $124 American. Um, I think, I, I'm not sure which one I want to do yet. Like, I really like the idea of makeup as Michael Orgesha, four studio shots, shots, four large size portraits, and a 60 minute walk in the legendary Gion Quarter at, for 145 American dollars. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Um, should I just stick with the basics and do the studio course or should I just go all out and do the walking course? Please go ahead and leave me a comment in the box below. There are way more expensive ones as well, like this one for um, $210 and I'm like yeah I'm not trying to go that far with it so out of these three let me know what you guys think would be best so that is Studio Aya and I figured that is probably gonna take eh, not too long maybe a couple hours so if we do that first thing in the morning then we'll still be able to do the Kiyo Mizudera Temple um, and we're going in the autumn, so I'm hoping that the leaves have changed and that it is just absolutely breathtaking like this photo here. So we shall see, but we're going to do that and then we'll kind of maybe again check out some nightlife and then go back to the hotel. So day five, we leave Kyoto and we go to the Arashiyama Forest. Ooh, yes. It's the bamboo forest, and I have seen videos that if we climb all the way up to the top, there is a monkey temple up there, and I'm not so sure how I feel about that because I really don't like monkeys, I'll tell you that. So we'll see how that goes, but I definitely want to spend a great deal of time in Arashiyama. Um, so that is the only thing that I scheduled for that day so far. And then again, just whatever. Day six, Kyoto to Osaka, day trip. So we're gonna take the Shinkansen to Osaka and so far the only thing I really have is going to Dontonbori because that seems to be where the, the, uh, the happenings are and where all the good food is, you know, Japan's kitchen, Osaka. So if you guys have any other suggestions on what to do in Osaka, please go ahead and drop a comment below. Day seven. We are going from Kyoto to Fukuoka. Yes, that's right, Fukuoka. You're probably asking why. Why are we going to Fukuoka of all things when there's Hiroshima and Nagasaki and all that? Well, the reason for that is because I watched a video. Let me see if I can actually pull them up. You guys have to excuse me. I'm new at this whole like screen recording business, but I'm giving it a whirl ski. And all right, so let me go ahead. And all right, Japan 2018. That's right. I have an entire thing. Okay, maybe later I'll do another video of my favorite vloggers. I tried to do that before. Turn out that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.
Okay, so it's in here somewhere. Thank you to all of these vloggers for sharing your videos and making my life so much easier. Okay. Oh, okay, so Simon, ugh, I hate my computer. Simon and Martina added to watch later. That too, because I'll probably watch this about 30 times. Oh look, an ad for everything. Something is a nuanced process. And if that doesn't work, deep fry it until it tastes delicious. I'm gonna try and edit that out. Arby's, we have the meat. Anyway. Arby's. Okay, so oh I have to start the video. So I watched this video. Simon and Martina. Here in Kurume Ramen Seoken. We have traveled out of Tokyo all the way down to Fukuoka and then we went from Fukuoka to Kurume. So we are having Tonkotsu ramen today. This place is beyond legit. It started in 1952. Someone started a street stall and they started this original kind of ramen. They have this recipe that's been passed on uh -huh. forever. Yep. It's older than us. I feel like this is the first official real Japanese ramen video we're putting out there, aren't we? We have. So yeah. I watched their whole video and I'll try and put their uh, link in the description box below because they're awesome and Tonkotsu ramen is my absolute favorite ramen in the entire world and I don't care where I have to travel to get the best Tonkotsu ramen, excuse me, I'm trying to wrangle a cat that is being annoying. So yes, so we're traveling all the way to Fukuoka for the ramen. And um, right, so here's Kurume, which is where I'm going to eat the luscious, gigantic bowl of pork, bone, and brain, and eyeballs goodness. And then we're only going to stay there for a day, and Kat actually knows Fukuoka very well because she lived off the coast of Fukuoka on an island called Iki. So she spent quite a bit of time on Iki and Fukuoka. So then we're going to Iki. Look how fabulous that is. Yay. Just kidding. And then we're going to stay at Hiroyama, which is a ryokan. And they, according to Kat, are very friendly with tattoos. Uh, we both have multiple uh, tattoos. And as most of you know, that tattoos are not okay in a lot of onsens. And that's a problem because I really want to do an onsen. So fortunately, Kat knows this place, the Hirayama Ryokan. It looks so pretty. Of course, we're gonna have to make reservations for this, but there you go. It's got an onsen, very cute. Oh, how pretty is that? It's traditional, modern at the same time and uh, we're really going to enjoy being there, that's for sure. So we're gonna spend a couple days on Inky because she, because she lived there for five years and really, I re really wanna get into the, the spirit of the island. Um, there's some nice beaches down there and of course the local company is always gonna be the best. So once we are done with Iki, we are going to travel all the way back to Tokyo on the Shikansen. So once we get back into Tokyo, I have to go to the Hikawa Shrine in Roppongi. Um, I am a huge Sailor Moon fan and this is where Sailor Mars lives and all the girls study and hang out and do all that fun stuff. So I wanna go and visit the real Hikawa Shrine. And from there, I want to travel to the Ramen Museum, which from what I understand is underground and everything is made to look like it did in the 1940s and 1950s. So let's see if I can pull that up for you guys as well. Yes. The Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum. That's what it is. Yes, see that picture right there? That's what I'm after. And you can try all different kinds of ramens. You can get either the big bowls you see here or you can get smaller bowls. 
you know, just a taste test. So, woo, very excited for that. And then from the Ramen Museum, I told Kat we can just do whatever, um, but that's gonna be a lot of traveling, as you can see um, from, let's say we're in Shinjuku, it's a 42 minute uh, train ride to Roppongi, and then uh, the Hikawa Shrine is actually uh, next to the American Embassy, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. And then it's 65 minutes from Roppongi to the Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum. So th that's quite a distance. <laughs> so, you know, we'll do whatever after that. Day 11. We are going to rent a car while we are in Tokyo, and we are going to drive out to which is a 303 minute drive, we're going to go visit the Aokigahara forest. Now, I know some of you are probably sitting there going, why? Why would you do that? Well, I've always been kind of a creepy person and I find the Aokigahara forest a very fascinating place. It is meant in no disrespect. I understand that many people kill themselves there yearly. I am not trying to go in and look for dead bodies. I am genuinely fascinated about how quiet this forest is. Um, and it's right at the base of Mount Fuji and I think it would just be an amazing experience to see the nature side of Japan um, and also you know kind of basically pay respects you know I mean it's unfortunate that so many Japanese salary people feel that this is their only way out in life and um, I think it's a really beautiful forest and I really want to go visit it. and Kat said hell yeah you want to do creepy let's do creepy so we're doing creepy the 12th day Still in Tokyo, I want to kind of go shopping. Um, I want to go to Animate. Um, let's see. I saw an amazing video by Sharla in Japan about Animate. And just to show you who Sharla is. But... Oh, I hope I saved her. Even though I have music playing in the background, don't know if you can hear it, but it's Final Fantasy ten to Okay, well, I, it's probably in here. But anyway, Charlotte in Japan, shout out. Um, she totally showed me, or everybody really, this great video about the anime, the animate shop, and I just want to go for freaking cosplay stuff because that's amazing so i want to spend some time there these the first official permanent sailor moon shop has opened opened in harajuku yay i know everything is overpriced it's expensive but i still want to go and visit it's my cat being loud and annoying Okay, and then day 13, Kat really wants to go to the Ghibli Museum, which I'm totally down for. Wait a minute. The museum will be closed for periodic maintenance during the following dates. Oh, that's 2016. Okay, cool. So we're going to go to the Ghibli Museum. Um, from what I understand, we can actually buy tickets for the Ghibli Museum at like a 7-Eleven. That's pretty cool, so don't really have to worry about it that much. And that's it so far. That's all I got, guys. I got day 14, 15, 16. Um, I really want to stay in a capsule hotel while I'm there. Um, oh, and hell yeah, Mario Kart in real life. Okay, let me see if I can actually... Let's see if that's listed. So if you want to add something, we'll go to edit. let's see and this is how you edit so you can remove edit all these days you can add notes yada yada so what I say let's say day 14 let's go ahead and edit all right so you can search let's add a spot and let's see if we can find it not everything is always listed Mm. So 
No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to go and find the official website. So we'll go to Marika Shinagawa. Okay, Marika. Ah, cat just walked on the keyboard. Okay, mm, let's see if it comes up under Marika. <laughs> no, okay. So then what we need to do so we need to find an address. Let's see. Look, this is so cool. So you start in Shinagawa, then you go to the Rainbow Bridge, Tokyo Tower, through Roppongi, and, sh and through Shibuya Crossing. It's only a hundred dollars but I can get it for 90 and I would much rather do that in the nighttime it looks super super fun it you can rent the costume to go with it and it just looks like it'll be so much fun okay here is the address so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that and let's see what happens Hmm. Okay, so it's not a big enough attraction yet for it to um, pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add by myself. And we're going to call it Mario Kart in Real Life. No, not Mario Ramen. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just, oh, missing. Oh, address, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so I added the address in and it's pulling it up exactly where it's going to be and I'm just gonna add to trip. And look at that, you have hotel suggestions and everything. So, um, like I said, I also wanna stay in a capsule hotel uh, there's an all-girl one in Akihabara, which seems really fun, and that one also came from another YouTuber. I've spent a lot of time on YouTube, and hopefully this is all recording with no issues, because I really don't want to have to do this again. Okay, so I really like Kim Dao, and oh yes, here we go. I've watched the video a couple times. Back to my channel. I am in Akihabara right now, which is the electric town of Tokyo. It's the home of anime and manga goods. So today I am here with... And she's on a budget. It's just about $100. I'm going to be spending the $100 today in Akihabara showing you guys what you can do with this money. I'm also staying in a casual hotel, which is included in this price. We're going to go shopping. We're going to go to game centers. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So today I'm going to be doing this with Emma. So we are gonna All right, so Akihabara Bay Hotel. I'm in front of the Akihabara Bay Hotel, and this is where we'll be staying. This is a female-only capsule hotel, so let's go inside. So yeah, I want to stay at the Akihabara Bay Hotel, because obviously Akihabara, it's, you know, heaven for nerds like me. Yeah. So, so far, that's all I've got, guys. Um... You know, I'm only going to travel in with a carry-on and a backpack. I plan on buying a uh, additional suitcase while I'm there at the end of the trip uh, so I can shop, 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 shop. And then put, and then just go ahead and check that bag and head on home. So I would love to hear any comments or ideas, um, any places you'd like to see me go in any of these cities. Um, yeah, so just go ahead and uh, leave me a comment. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to. I will link 
uh, Random E, Kim, Kim Dow, and a couple other people in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll do updates another time. Thanks!